I was absolutely astounded to come to the understanding that there was 1.2 million abortions in the United States. And I think our involvement got sealed when I actually saw the ultrasound of my grandson, Timmy. And from that ultrasound, I, it's very clear to understand that that is a human being, that is a person, and then that person's life cannot be taken and must be saved. I was uh, in business, just a, a businessman, uh, uh, taking care of business, taking care of my family, but really not in a heavy way involved in charitable aspects. And I miss that. Uh, in my life through my business career. Very much inspired by the example of my father uh, and, and both of my parents uh, uh, and the charitable work that, that they did. The year that we founded the Girard Health Foundation, we had determined at that point in time that we could come up with an overarching goal, which is to save lives. Well, the Girard Health Foundation has devoted itself to promoting life in all facets, um, ranging from neonatal life and supporting stem cell research that is ethical, uh, to supporting candidates for the Supreme Court, to members of Congress. Most recently, we have expanded that, doing a lot of work internationally. We have supported the Cure Hospital over in Uganda, which saves uh, babies uh, afflicted with hydrocephalus. And when the earthquake struck in Haiti, we worked through the groups we were already working with in Haiti to provide additional relief to the earthquake victims. Ray has put his money where his mouth is. He has certainly uh, put his money where his heart is as well, so that he is supporting pro-life activities across the board. We really founded Life Prizes for several reasons. We determined that there was no significant monetary prize that was being given to those that were doing the most in the pro-life area. Life Prizes is unprecedented. We really aim to make a, a big splash and a big celebratory effort to raise the spotlight on our winners and on the movement itself. Because of the generosity of the Life Prize from the Gerard Health Foundation, I was able to pay for a full year of college, donate some money back to Live Action, my organization, and put some money forward towards other pro-life efforts. So all in all, it was an enormous blessing to me personally and to my pro-life work. The common threads that go through the pro-life winners are, are that they're ordinary people, they're students, they're moms, they're dads, they're retired people who heard the call. You take, for example, uh, Kristen Hawkins, uh, the leader of Students for Life. At age 25, she's the leader of the largest uh, pro-life group uh, for students in, in the world. I'm just amazed when I see the work that some of these winners and some of the other groups are doing. And it additionally motivates me to want to do more, to want to contribute more, to jump even more into, into the fight and into the battle. We hope and pray that in my lifetime that we'll be able to solve the abortion problem in the United States and the world. And this is so inspiring to build a movement of young people who are not only educated about the culture of life and about abortion, but are activated in very specific strategic ways to build that culture of life and to fight abortion and threats against life in their communities. This work is so invaluable, it's so needed, and we want to do it to the best of our ability. There's a lot of room in this pro-life boat for everybody. And there's many, many things that you could be doing. Now grab an oar, dig in, uh, start to work it. And just like many of these recipients, uh, you too can do great things.